Okay, welcome. This is Laura with Jot and Tittle Vintage Typewriters. Glad you're here today. We're taking a peek at the Royal Arrow. This is a 1941. So this is a World War II piece. I don't know if it served in the Army or not, but it was just during the war years. And uh, we are going to take a look-see here on how to use it. Kind of exciting to think what this was used for and what was written on it um, since it was manufactured in 41. What kind of thoughts and letters and um, editorials or what was written on this. Really interesting to think about. Okay, so um, let's start from the back. So this is doesn't have a tab system or anything on it um, and it doesn't have a paper holder it's a very basic machine now the top still flips back and you're gonna see your margins now it does have an early version of the magic margin but it's only on the left side so the right side you just press and drag and you can still press and drag here if you want um, but to set the margin you just hold it in while you release the carriage and then just as you release the carriage, you just set it where you want it. So, and then you let it go like that, okay? If you're gonna come in, you just, let's say the margin's already out here and you wanna come in further, you just put it where you want and then you just, and you'll hear that locking sound and that means it's set. And then to go out, you hold it in while releasing the carriage and go out like that. Now, I know I kind of got ahead of myself to release the carriage. There's a little tiny lever right here behind the handle and also on this side. And it doesn't matter which side. And so um, the carriage will move as far as you have the margin set. Now, if you keep that carriage all the way over to the right, you'll see um, a serial number stamped in the back of the frame right here. And then you can go to typewriterdatabase.com and that'll help you date your typewriter. Um, so I'm gonna move this back to the center. And actually, I'm gonna bring my margin in. Alrighty, there we go. Um, this lever, kinda like this little pinky. All right, this lever, is your paper release. So when you load a piece of paper, which it's gonna go right back here, set it there, turn the handle. And let's say it's crooked like it is, and you wanna straighten it out. You just bring that forward and then you can straighten out your paper, put it where you want, re-engage. And when you're done with your paper, you just bring that forward, pull it out, re-engaged, voila, okay? Hit that return handle when you need to go to the next line and um, let's see which is which here. Okay, so this is your line selector, the first one that's closest to the handle, that's your line selector. So it's, right now it's on single line. When you hit that return, it's gonna advance one line. Flip it down, it's gonna be double line, okay? This is gonna release the platen. Um, you don't really need to use it, so we're not gonna get into that. Move your carriage all the way over to the left. Oh, by the way, your bell should go off when you hit your right margin, and that is to let you know, hey, you're at the right margin. The carriage is about to stop. You need to hit your return handle. But what if you're in the middle of a word? Well, you're typing away, that bell goes off and it stops. Then there's a button right here it says MAR and then R-E-L, margin release. You just hit that, that releases that margin and you can keep going. All right, well, we're gonna keep this carriage over to the left because we're gonna pop this top open, take a look-see on the inside and you'll see that it uses a universal ribbon. It's a two inch spool. Um, if you need a ribbon for your uh, typewriter, you just visit our website at jotandtittletypewriters.com. There's a link below for you. Um, and we have uh, universal ribbons. We have the really inexpensive ones that come prepackaged. And then we also have the ones that we hand roll in our shop. And you get 
at least twice the amount of ribbon. It's a really good price. And that's the 48 foot ribbon. We also have custom ribbon options. And that means if your typewriter has the original spools and you just want new ribbon on it, select that option, send us your spools. And the price includes our shipping it back to you. So you send us spools, we wind it and return it to you. And this is great if you have different sizes of spools. Okay, these are your type bars. Um, and then this touch control right here just determines how hard these bars are gonna strike your paper. The spools are easy, they just pop in and out. You do wanna make sure, it's hard for us to say, hey, this is how you thread your um, ribbon because each model is threaded differently and to when we try to do it take a video of it all you do is see our hands and you can't see what we're doing and really it's um there might be some other channels that do a much better job but um it's just not something that we're going to take the time to do right now because it's just so hard to video switching out the ribbons but what we've done is we've taken a photo, up close photo, and it's in that product listing link in the description below, and then you can bookmark that photo. So when you do switch out your ribbons, you can kind of see how it's threaded and then replicate it. Now, keeping in mind that you may have to um, go underneath or behind or around or over to kind of get it in through the different times and the, and you know, the whatever you want to call it. So the guide wire, the guides here for your ribbon, make sure black is on top, red is on bottom. Your color selector is right here. There's red, there's black, or the color looks like blue, the little dot. Now white is stencil and you have to actually push it down and over and they make it a little more difficult to select it. And that's because your typewriter won't type in that um, setting. Uh, you won't be using stencil unless you specifically are out there looking for typewriter stencils and you know what they are and what they do, then great. But if you don't, then don't use the white setting. That's like a no-go. Um, otherwise, keep it on the blue or the red. If you do have any trouble, you're typing it away and all of a sudden the typewriter stops, it gets stiff or the font gets faint or it just doesn't feel right, stop and do two things. Reverse the direction of your ribbon, which is right here, and check your color selector to make sure it's, make sure it's fully on one of those colors, not on the white. Um, the, there's a lot of ink in your ribbon, so when you get to the end of the spool, it's not the end of the ink. You just reverse it back and forth many, back and forth many times before you need to change it. Um, and sometimes a ommon will have an auto reverse uh, grommet on it and uh, if it works with your typewriter great if not there's the manual reverse okay I'm gonna pop that lid down you'll see that this particular model has the original glass keys and um, it's beautiful I mean they really it's really nice this is very portable this is a great coffee shop typewriter is what I call them um, just because they're easy to tote around, they're easy to put on a little um, bistro table, um, whether you're outside or inside, it doesn't need to be plugged in, it's all manual. Um, you have your backspace, backspace does not erase, you just backspace and you just type over your mistakes and that's totally fine. Here's your shift and then your shift lock. And to unlock it, you press down on the shift it says shift freedom um, and to release it. And the reason it's called shift freedom is because a lot of these typewriters, when you hit shift, it used to move the carriage up and down and it was very clunky and it was actually very heavy for your pinky. And so when they switched over to uh, shifting this whole basket escapement area, then it was so much easier on your hands. The pinky didn't wear out as fast and a lot less clunky. So um, that's why it's called Shift Freedom because it's just a lot easier. All right, so that's how to use your Royal Arrow from 1941. I hope you enjoy it and write lots of great stories. Have a great day and blessings to you.